So what's up? Nothing. What are we cooking tonight? We're gonna make some homemade spaghetti. From scratch. Sauce Scratchola. Yeah. Sauce and all. Yeah. Gonna show you a legit meat sauce from Scratchola. Yeah. So we'll go down the list here. First things first, you're gonna need we didn't go out and buy fresh spices like oregano, thyme, basil, all that kind of stuff. So Italian seasoning will do. It has all that stuff in it. You're going to need some olive oil, garlic, a zucchini for Selena's preference here, and the <laughs> mushrooms. Typically, I probably wouldn't put it in. Pound of sausage, pound of burger, quite a bit of tomato sauce, because you got to make the sauce, of course. We got some extra tomatoes here. See what we can throw in. Some tomato paste, tomato sauce. Got some crushed tomatoes and stuff. One onion, diced. And we got two squashes because you're going to make spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash, which is keto. Yes, it's keto. Yeah. Instead of having actual pasta. Yeah. Kind of, so when you, when you finish keto. it, it comes out like angel hair pasta, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You're going to need a pot. A pot, yeah. And for the squash, you'll need a cookie sheet. Put some foil on it. Put some foil or some parchment paper, yep. whatever you prefer. So we'll get started first getting the sauce going because it's got to go for a couple hours. You're going to take some olive oil. Just douse the bottom of the pan. It's just for the meat. That's it. So you can see. Boom. Some garlic, yeah. Garlic and the meat. And we're going to dice up the onion and throw it in there too. So put a few heavy scoops of garlic in there. Boom. Boom. Some onion. Yep. Go ahead and dice an onion. The whole onion? Sure. Why not? Live on the edge. <laughs> Is it making you cry? It's making me cry. <laughs> so you got a diced onion. Yep. Go and throw that in the pot. Don't even think about it. <laughs> don't even think about it. You don't want none of that. <laughs> Maybe she does. There you go. See? Walk away. Walk away. <laughs> One pound. One pound of mild Italian sausage. Boom. And you do like a pound of burger. Yep. Is that a pound? Yep. Roughly? Roughly. Maybe a little bit more. Cool. The more the merrier. When you're making a meat sauce or a meat gravy, <laughs> can't uh, can't go wrong with more meat. So now it's on medium heat. You're just gonna let it come up to a, you know, come up to temp, and uh, the burger and the sausage and the onion and the garlic all start uh, cooking. Get the onions soft and caramelize the garlic minced in with the meat and everything. Yeah, I'm assuming. Uh, Don't think about it. <laughs> you Don't you do it before you add anything else. Then walk it's away. Walk cooked. away. Mmm, tasty, tasty. Mm -hmm. So you can see the onions are getting all soft, the meat's cooked, there's lots of grease, the stench of onions, garlic, and sausage throughout the entire house. Yes. Right? Yep. So we're looking good on that. The meat's about done. It's nice and soft. All right. So you can see she stacked them up. She's just cutting them in quarters. Easy breezy. All right, so put the zucchini in there, boom. Feed her, feed her. All right, so mushrooms going in. All right, so you can see it's been a few minutes since we put the zucchinis and mushrooms in. Onions are nicely uh, caramelized house is full of fragrance. Yes. Ooh, tomato sauce going in. <laughs> oh. Boom. <laughs> so that sounded like a bad trip to the bathroom. <laughs> now, Thing on Italian seasoning, easy enough to use, right? Typically, at this point in the culinary world, you would make what is called a bouquet garni. 
okay, which, which would be a combination of the same Italian seasonings, bay leaves, oregano, thyme, basil, uh, rosemary. There's three more in here. Savory, sage, and... Sage. And marjoram. Majoram. Majoram. <laughs> you call yourself a cook? So just stir that up. Like I said, it's on low. Like dead low. All right. Meat's cooked. Everything's good. Now you just got to let the heat emanate. There you go. So now I get a lid out. Put a lid on that baby and just let it sit. All right. So what we're doing now is preparing for the squash. So I'm going to do the second one because <laughs> that one was really hard. Yeah. And I got an uneven cut. Yeah. So, but like I said, just cut the ends off, half it. Yep. Dig the guts out. Go on from there. Put a little weight into it. Yeah. Boom. Well, I think the other, the first one was a little less ripe. <laughs> you seem to have been able to do that a little bit easier. So, start in half. Yeah. Use your weight. Push on through it. Boom. Boom. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be nice done. Nice clean halves. Dig the guts out. Get yeah. a spoon. Yeah. Really clean, too. Not just kind of, sort of, really clean. You like want imagine to... you're cleaning out a pumpkin for Halloween. Yeah. It's got seeds and guts, just like a pumpkin. As you can see. Nice and clean. Got a little bit of stuff in it. Then you take your olive oil, and I guess... It would be uh, best if you had a brush, but we don't. So I'm just gonna do it with our fingers, just coat it. Make sure it's all rubbed all over there. Next one. Then you just take some salt. Sprinkle a little bit of salt on it. Not a ton, just a little bit. Like that. And then as soon as the oven's ready, you just pop them in for about 45 to 60 minutes. For an hour, because these are bigger squash, uh, spaghetti squash. Smaller ones take about 40 to 45 minutes. And I guess we'll see you in an hour. So one hour at 400 oh, degrees. At 400 degrees, yes. So it's been an hour. So we're gonna take the spaghetti squash out of the oven. And we're gonna flip them over and poke them. And make sure they're done. Oh yeah. Take a fork and poke them. Yeah. It, like do the fat one and then we'll know oh yeah fork just goes in it's like a cake super soft super soft they're good all right well, it's been about 15 minutes now they're cooled down to the touch and i'm just gonna shred them right out of here onto the plate like noodles and just scrape them right out of the the skin and like that boom just go over here and get your spaghetti sauce and voila put on your parmesan and if you like a uh, bread and butter or some, uh, Maybe know, some garlic toast. Garlic toast or whatever you like with it. Voila. And it's all keto as long as you don't have the toast.
Så. Ja. Got the uh, was spaghetti squash, the sp yeah. which is basically carb free. Yep. The it sauce is. that we made from scratch, so it's very low in carbohydrates. That yeah. we saw that the tomato sauce has a little bit of carbohydrates in it, but but that's ultimately, just what's in the actual fruit itself of yeah. the tomato. So very minimal keto yeah. spaghetti squash and yep. homemade meat sauce. There you go. Yum. Tasty. I know. I'm gonna go <laughs> eat. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Tasty, tasty. Yeah. So make it yourself. Do your thing. Blah blah blah. <laughs> right. Right. What? Out. <laughs> With turquoise and real diamonds. Ha, ha, ha.